Hello, it's late August in Northwest Missouri and we're going to take a look at a solar water pump. This is a portable unit that we have on a little trailer that we can take and use all over the farm for watering livestock, which we primarily use it for, but we can also use it for irrigating plots or any number of reasons that we might need some water in a remote location where we don't have uh, electricity off of the grid. It consists of four basic parts. The solar panels, which are 180 watt each, so it's a total of 360 watts of solar gathering capability. It has a box here that has the controllers for both the electricity coming from the solar panels to the batteries and from the batteries to the pump. And it has two 12 volt batteries in there. And then this box has a pressure tank and a pressure switch so that it pumps up, pressure reaches a certain point, and it cuts off and then cycles again and again and again, just like any traditional setup in a well uh, where you have regular electricity. Of course the trailer, and then the fourth component is the pump, which is uh, out in the pond hanging on a float, and we can look at that later at better. The way I like to think of this is not a real complicated solar pump. All this is is an electric water pump being run by batteries. And the batteries are being charged by solar panels. So um, there are direct drive solar units where the, when the sun shines, the pump runs, there's no batteries or anything. This is not one. This is a, a unit that will run all night long uh, once the batteries are charged. Okay. So the fourth component that I mentioned is actually the pump, which is out in the pond. And because our unit is portable, we've set it up so we can put the pump anywhere. We can put it down in a well, we can put it out in a pond, or something like that. So you can see out there a piece of PVC pipe running out there. That's just holding the float. And under the float is hanging down a submersible pump under that white float. And then running up the shore here, is the hose from the pump and the electric line running to the pump and a rope running to the pump so that if something goes wrong we don't lose the pump. Well maybe we should take a look and see if it'll pump some water. So we'll take a look at it here and pump a little bit of water. We don't currently have it hooked up to a tank uh, for demonstration purposes but you would have this hose running off of the pressure tank and you can run that just to a regular tank float in a stock water tank or you can run it to a sprinkler system or whatever. Um, I'll go ahead and turn it on. There's no noise or anything because the pump is out in the pond. It's making a little humming noise underwater that you can't hear. But it just uh, has a little air in the line because it's been turned off. But there is the water from the pond. And this system is designed to lift water, I believe it's 110 vertical feet, which is a, a pretty powerful pump. It's a one horse pump. So that you could lift out of a well, say you lift out of a 30 foot well in our area is about the depth of the wells. Then you could lift it another 70 foot up the hill to a tank and it would handle it just fine. Now we can take a little closer look at some of these components here. So I mentioned that in concept it's very simple. But some of the components are actually quite complex. These two controllers regulate the electricity coming from the panels and going to the pump and coming from, sorry, coming from the panels and going to the batteries and from the batteries and going to the pump. Um, but this is the one that has a little switch here. You just turn the whole thing on. Takes it a minute and there's your water. This particular controller here is, uh, contains the fuses for the various um, electronic equipment and it also has diagnostic equipment. 
it's cycling through some readings here. Uh, let's see, right now the load amps are zero because the pump is off. The battery volts are 25.3, I'll discuss that in a second, and the solar amps are zero. We're making this video of an evening when on, the sun has already set and so the pump is strictly running off of battery power. This uh, unit has two 12 volt deep cycle batteries that are wired in a series, so that's 24 volts. And they'll run a little bit above that, that's why this thing's reading right now, is reading a little higher than that, 25.4. Question from the audience. Yes. So, we haven't, this hasn't been used for a week or so, but this has been out charging up the batteries, I guess. This hasn't been used for a couple of weeks but it's just been sitting here charging the batteries but once the batteries are charged then this unit will shut it off so it doesn't overcharge them so there's actually it's not been doing anything for a while uh, if we were to run water all night tomorrow this thing would say well we better charge the batteries and it'll start feeding electricity to the batteries this other component here this is the pressure system it has a water coming in from the pump in this hose through a Poisson valve, which is easily disconnected. You want to move it around. It goes in, <coughs> pressurizes this small pressure tank. When it reaches, I have it set on 80 psi, it turns the pressure switch off and it just sits there holding pressure. And it comes out on the other side on your output hose. Again, a, all portable and detachable. And um, that's all that there is, and there's also a shutoff valve in here. But that's all there is in this box is just the pressure tank and the pressure switch and the outlets to the hoses. And that sits covered up like that. We might talk next about the panels just a little bit. These two panels are about 10 years old and have been working flawlessly, but it's worth noting that the newer panels are better and they're cheaper because of the boom in solar uh, industry and increased production um, the new panels are better and cheaper. These panels are sensitive to where the sun is. So if you're really using this solar pumping unit hard you need to probably put it pointing about the two o'clock sun if you're not going to move it during the day. And find the angle here, this angle is adjustable with a little bolt back there that matches the time of year. In midsummer, we have them nearly vertically. Now they're coming over and we put them here a little more of an angle so they could, you can see them better. But uh, this is about right for this late summer time of year. And of course we'd want to take them away from these trees uh, if we were really using it hard so they got the maximum amount of sun. We've been using this solar pumping unit for about 10 years. It has worked very, very well. The only problem we have had is one time the lightning struck and apparently burned out one of these controllers. When we replaced it, everything worked fine again. If you're thinking about a solar pumping unit and you don't know a lot about this electronics part like me, uh, you need to get with a good dealer who works with you to understand what kind of livestock you're hoping to water, how many, uh, what part of the country you're in relative to how much sun do you get and how high you're going to lift the water and if you're like most of us once you get it going you realize oh I wish I'd have built that a little bit bigger so uh, might want to oversize it just a little bit we have two solar pumping units this one which is battery powered so we're just charging the batteries and running the pump and another solar pumping unit which is direct drive it has two panels a controller and a pump so when the sun shines, it pumps. Works very well, but you have to choose the place that you use that so that it, that type of system can work. Um, I guess that's about it. There have been a lot of advances in solar pumping the last few years, and these systems can be made frost-free because you can have the solar panels up in where they can get the sun, but all of your plumbing can be underground somewhere where it won't freeze. It can be just like any well. It's made frost-free. Um, 
and they seem to work really well.